Well, welcome to Brad Allen Drums. For those of you who are new, my name's Brad Allen. I'm a professional drummer who's also been teaching private drum lessons for over 20 years. And now I'm doing my best to pass along all that knowledge to you. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you three simple steps to playing the basic bossa nova beat for drum set. Also stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you a special technique for handling the bossa nova at faster tempos. All right, first of all, what is the bossa nova? The bossa nova drum beat is a Brazilian rhythm derived from the samba with American jazz influences. It's rhythmically related to the samba, but is generally played much slower. It also contains more complex harmonies than the traditional Brazilian samba, as well as improvised lines. Now, three steps for the basic bossa nova for drum set. Step one, play eighth notes with your right hand on the closed hi-hat cymbals. Add the following pattern with your bass drum. By the way, I have all these patterns written out on my website at bradallendrums.com for your convenience. Just click on the link below. Step two, play eighth notes again on the closed hi-hat cymbals. Add the following pattern on the snare drum with your left hand. Leave out the bass drum for now. One and three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three. Four, one, two, a little slower. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Notice that I'm using a cross stick on the snare drum. My hand is open to allow me to muffle the snare drum as I play. Turn off the snares. Notice that I flip the drum stick around to get a better sound. Experiment to get the fullest sound on the snare drum by moving the stick closer to the rim and then back closer to the center again. You want to try and get the fullest sound you can. So experiment. So on my drum and with this stick, that sounds pretty good right there. Notice that this is a two measure pattern. The first measure has three notes and the second measure has two notes. The order of these two measures can be turned around, but if you simply learn it the way I'm showing you here, it'll work fine in just about any situation. Memorize this pattern and once you can play it while reading it, practice playing it while not looking at it. Close your eyes so you can internalize the pattern like this. Step three, combine steps one and two. Practice very slowly, ensuring that all the notes line up. A little faster. Again, once you can play this beat while looking at it, play it without looking at the notation. Close your eyes to internalize and memorize the bossa nova beat and practice at a variety of tempos. I'm going to go a little faster here. This works well for many situations. <clears throat> now for the special technique I mentioned earlier. Sometimes you'll be required to play a bossa nova at a very fast tempo, and in those situations, you'll find it difficult to keep up using the bossa nova beat that we just learned. For those situations, I have a modified beat that I'd like to teach you. Step one, instead of playing steady eighth notes with your right hand on the hi-hat, I'd like you to break up the bossa nova beat between your right and left hand with your left hand playing the clave rhythm on the snare drum. Leave out the bass drum for now, like this. Again, try it a little faster. Try to internalize the rhythm. Step 
Step two, add the bass drum to that rhythm. Start slow. Again, this is easier to play a little faster because your right hand doesn't have to play as many notes. You'll probably find that this beat is a little awkward at first in the beginning, but once you've memorized it and internalized it, it will get much more comfortable for you. As a thank you for watching today, I have a gift I'd like to send you. I have 10 of the best exercises for speed that I've created. These are the same type of exercises that helped my student Matthew Lom win a fastest drumming hands competition two years in a row. Just follow the link in the video or in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.